how do you deal with bad renters and do you ever inspect the home of your renters? That is a really cool question, which you almost answered your questions inside of your questions. So no matter how well you screen people, somebody is going to slip through. There are just some things that uh, fundamentally make up a bad renter that do not come through on the screening report and never will. Uh, cleanliness, obviously, is the biggest one of those. Uh, who your friends are, what kind of company you keep is another thing that's never going to come up on screening. Uh, we have had some of the best people on paper, and we have had some of the uh, best people uh, from a cleanliness perspective. But then they decide to keep some bad company, and before you know it, the house is wrecked. So your second question is how we do our very best to minimize the damages that your first question causes, and that is... We utilize a company called RentCheck. RentCheck is a, a client-facing app. So it is something the resident will install on their phone and it will do a self, it'll, it'll walk them through like a, a self-inspection process. It'll ask them to take pictures of, you know, each room, uh, pretty much anything that you want this inspection to focus on. Uh, RentCheck has the ability to cater this inspection specifically to uh, what you're after. From the client-facing app perspective, it kind of does that uh, thing that I'm sure everybody on their smartphone has seen, where it enables the location on the picture, and it doesn't allow you to upload pictures. You have to take them with your phone, and your location has to be on, and you have to be able to see that it was, in fact, from that specific location. So that's pretty cool. And that will allow you to see pretty regularly uh, what the condition of their home is in. Uh, you can even ask that they take a picture of their air filter with, you know, the date that that filter was changed last uh, in Sharpie around that. Now, obviously, if somebody wants to cheat the system and not be diligent or not do this, uh, that's well within their right. The way that we do it is we have all of our properties loaded into rent check and they're given uh, the residents are given a certain amount of time to complete those. If they do not complete those in their time, we have a person internally that goes out and completes those. And rent check has saved us a, a minimum of three times now where we have moved somebody in for all intents and purposes. They were a good resident. They uh, paid properly, but they kept a horrible home. Uh, in that case, we work with them. We give them X amount of time to clean it up. We'll do a reinspection. If that's not uh, done, then if it's still a wreck, then we will go ahead and uh, start the eviction process because you really need to keep up with these properties. Uh, as I've said before, there is no chance that you can collect enough rent on a monthly basis for one property to handle all of the things that could potentially go wrong with it. And uh, having somebody, you know, keep dogs locked up in a basement and let them, uh, you know, do their business everywhere to never doing their dishes, to keeping trash inside the house, attracting all sorts of pests. These things can get extraordinarily expensive the longer that they're allowed to go on. So if you're able to do a inspection on a quarterly or at even an annual basis, you're going to save yourself thousands of dollars uh, throughout the year. And know that while the most common cause of eviction is not paying your rent, your lease, your average lease contains uh, so many other items that you can evict for. Cleanliness and uh, upkeep are most certainly one of those things that you can and should evict people on. Because the longer you let them stay, the more expensive your problems are going to be. And the amount of rent that they're giving you is not going to make up for, in the end, all the damages that they do. Fantastic question, H. Thank you. Thanks for watching that clip. I thought that was a good question. And I think you can ask good questions, too. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.